Hey, what's going on guys? Root of the Null here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial. Today we're checking out uh, the length function, or the LEN function. And we're going to try and see if we can sort of make something like that all, all on our own. So uh, let's give it a go. Let's fire up idle, and uh, I'm going to create a new file. Save this as file.python. Get a shebang line going on, user bin environment python. And I'm going to start by creating a class base, because I think we should really try and get into a little bit more of the habit of using object-oriented programming. So I'm going to get all these things started up, and then I'll test whether this is the current script that we are running, in case... because that's also a good habit to get into. And then, yeah, we should be fine. We can just create a root object that can be an instance of the base class, We'll define a uh, print hello world to make sure things are working okay, and they should be going fine. Sweet. So let's get started by creating a, a function, or at least something. So self.string for the current moment can be uh, this is a string. Just a just a temporary string in case we you ever use something like that. So now normally you could use the length function or the len, and that would just pass in you could pass in any variable. Usually, usually a string, usually a tuple, or that sort of thing. So let's do... How about... I'm sorry, print. Print is what we want to see. We want to be able to just see what the length of the string is. F5. And then we have 16. So we can print out... the length of the string... and then we can concatenate on a new string get some quotes in here though, and we'll put on self.string concatenate another string is and we can concatenate again, and I'm going to bring this down so it's a little bit cleaner, and the string value of the length of these strings so now we're printing that out, the length of the string, this is a string, is 16 so let's try something else though, what if we uh, we can comment that out, first of all. <coughs> so what if we tried to print out the length of, let's say, 4? This will throw us an error, because we can't really do that. It has no length, it's a number. But what if we try to consider it to be a string? What if we just wanted that one? So if, if say, we had a three-digit number, we would get three, because that's the length of it. So let's try and recreate this sort of length function all on our own. We're going to want to define a function. I'm going to change it to get length, And then we're going to need a parameter, obviously. First we need self, first of all. And then we'll just, like, pass in a thing. Because we don't know what it'll be. So we can, in this case, start length. And length is going to equal zero for now, though, because we haven't counted anything. But what we want to do, though, is loop through the thing. So for each item, or an element inside thing, or whatever we're passing to it, we can increase that integer, that number length, so uh, length, and we can use our assignment operator here, plus equals one. And now when we're done that, we can return the length. So let's try this. Let's try print self dot get length self dot string. This should give us 16. 16. Perfect. So let's try to have a little bit more of a of an end of thing though. Let's we want to have that number functionality without getting an error. We want to be able to see how many digits it has. So let's try an if statement. Let's test if the type, this is a new function I want to introduce to you guys, it'll if you pass in any object or data type, you will be able to well, obviously an object cuz Python treats data types as objects. If you t if you pass in anything here, you will be able to be returned the type, and your the object's type obviously. So then you can type in your is operator, and you can test if it is what we're looking for. So if we type in the type of thing, if that is an integer, we would change that to a string. Mm, thing equals the string version of thing. So we still get 16 because we haven't changed anything, but what if we tried to get length of 4? We can try that again. F5, and we get 1. Cool, no errors, that's a good thing. What if we did like 9,048? 
we'd get four because there are four digits in this this number but we're interpreting it as a string because we've tested if the type is an integer or not and we don't have to be working with only strings or, or integers though we can work with um, how about a tuple we can work with three four five and six how many have we got here we still have four because we have four elements in here we can work with a list obviously that'll have the same thing You can save that and we get five because we have five elements here one two three four five and we sort of just potentially recreated that length function and even add a little bit more functionality to it and it doesn't have a hissy fit if you if you throw an integer at it in fact it'll count the number of digits it have if you do throw an integer at it so that's awesome we have our length variable here and all that is is a number where we're able to loop through each individual piece of the thing that we pass in so here we sort of recreated ourselves that get length function awesome isn't it okay cool uh, that's all I wanted to show you guys in this video. Thank you for watching. It'd be cool if you could give me a like, maybe uh, maybe leave a comment, let me know what you thought of the video, and uh, maybe subscribe, I don't know, just an idea. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.